the story of every man's life in this room is the story of the long and sustained assault on your heart by the one who knows who you could be and he fears you. He fears you. And so if the assault has been particularly ruthless in your life, what that means is that you are particularly dangerous. And you, there's just been this horrible, guys, like horrible assault on your heart to shut you down. Okay, so this is so important to the journey that we're on because motivation can only take you so far. Promise can only take you so far, your own promises, right? Um, Desire can only take you so far. The only way you can make it in a story like the one we're living in, we're living in a gnarly story. It's a love story, but it's set in a world at war. It's always a love story, but it's 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 in war. The only way you can make it at this point is the restoration of your heart. And so as you think about the places in your life, wow, I would love to have a family, or man, I have just no idea what my calling is, or you are in the stage of your calling and it's not going well and you're longing, whatever ground it is you would love to take in your life, it requires this, it requires your heart. And, and, and you will need a greater measure of your heart back. And I, tr- I tried, guys, everything I'm, I'm gonna tell you more about my story in the next session, but everything I'm giving to you it, it is not theory. I've been a therapist for 30 years, I've worked with thousands and thousands of men, but I just know my own story. And I can tell you the discipline doesn't work. Discipline's important. Discipline doesn't, it won't see you through. It just won't. And and it it won't see you through a tough marriage. It won't see you through cancer. Okay, that you need something more. You need that powerhouse that God put in the center of your being. You need your whole heart back. And the offer of the gospel is the restoration of your heart. That is what Jesus came to do, okay? More on that this afternoon. We'll we'll unpack all of that. But what we're trying to locate here is that you are his son. You have his heart. You have the heart of Yahweh in you. You have the heart of Jesus in you. I guarantee it. I promise you. And then you have it very uniquely to you, very uniquely to how you express adventure and love and beauty and battle in your soul. That is the gift. And then David says the most phenomenal thing. He he says all kinds of unbelievable stuff in the Psalms. Reading the Psalms is reading David's journal. And it's pretty candid, okay? You get a real look at what, what is the inner life of a warrior king like? Well, read the Psalms, okay? Psalm Uh, 119, here's what he says. We're gonna put this scripture up. This is the last scripture for this time. He says, I run in the path of your commands because you have set my heart free. If you tasted that, if you knew that life, you would give everything for it. You would sell everything for it because everything else in life depends on that. You have to get that back, right? God's not here to put your heart in a cage, to shut you down and just make you a good boy, okay? He he is here to set your heart free, to give you wholeheartedness. Jesus has beautiful, um, trafficked women broken with not clear sexual boundaries, throw themselves at his feet, okay? And he's good, he's good. Like, I I don't need that. I'm not gonna abuse you. I'm not gonna take from you, but I love you. 
and I'll invite you into a pretty wild story if you're interested. Like he's wholehearted, he's well. And it's what, it's what enables him to navigate praise and criticism. He, he's the same guy. Crowds are cheering. The next minute they're calling for his head, right? And he's, he's just the same guy. He's true. There is a trueness to the being of Jesus that he can just navigate this pretty messy world because he's wholehearted. And he would love to do that for you.